Hey everyone, welcome to The Shot Clock. I'm Katherine Fitzgerald alongside Greg Moore. It's Monday morning, Cardinals just got their first win of the season, but they are already out of the news cycle. The Phoenix Suns relieved Ryan McDonough of all duties nine days before the season. They fired him. They fired him. They fired him. Let's start The Shot Clock. Greg, what's going on? No one knows what's going on. I'm, I'm really trying, right? I'm, I'm really trying, I'm gonna keep it together. But what? <laughs> They've had five general managers since Robert Sarver became the managing general partner. They've had like eight coaches since Robert Sarver became the managing general partner. And the statement says after deliberation and consideration and, yo, McDonough told you what the plan was a couple of years ago and you re-upped him, right? Just let's think about this for a minute. McDonough says, we're going to try to put together a young core, then add a key piece, and then be ready to contend as the other teams get old. And that's exactly where we're at. The only thing that we're missing is a point guard. There's been optimism. You got Devin Booker, and Drake loves him. And you've got DeAndre Ayton, and he wears really cool shoes, and he gets a lot of rebounds, and he's tall. Everything what work we asked for. Right, no, but you got Josh Jack. Everything that you want, everything that you said that you want to have in place, you've got it in place now, and then you make this move. And it reminds me of last year when Earl Watson was fired like three games into the season. These moves make no sense from a timing standpoint, and then the statements that come out don't explain anything about a team that everybody around here loves. This is why people who are longtime Suns fans are beyond frustrated because it just doesn't make any sense. Yeah, the timing, especially nine days before the season opener, that's going to raise a While lot of While you're in the middle of trying to get a point guard. So you put James Jones in the job, and Trevor Buckstein is uh, going to help with James Jones, and they're going to be general managers. This is not about James Jones, who I actually think can be a great general manager for a lot of reasons. This is not about that right now. This is about why in the world was Ryan McDonough fired. Now, please. Please, someone, let's let's have a chat here because this doesn't make any sense. We're out of time on the shot clock. We've obviously still got a lot of questions, which we'll be working to answer all day. Keep checking back as we continue to report on this. Thanks for watching. Yo, Greg Moore here, AZ Central Sports. We're independent and we give you blanket coverage of every team in the Valley. Get the news how you want it, when you want it. Subscribe today.